I don't know whether you guys are aware of this, but Nadia seems to be moving away from Call of Duty, and I can tell you exactly why that is happening. She's a f***ing cheater. How many times have I read comments saying it's just the same clips over and over? Now, I mean, sometimes they've been repeated. I've shown the same clips, but that's just to emphasize a point I'm trying to make to show you guys that there is a pattern in the behavior of her aim in Call of Duty titles. However, this is a brand new clip, something from Warzone 2, and we're about to show you a clear aimbot transfer where her aim snaps from one enemy to another. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you guys a cheat menu and how all the different settings are on there and show you that aim smoothness and aim speed are a part of this cheat menu, but I can tell you that they are real. You've seen the video, and if you haven't, there is a video demonstrating how the cheats work in this game over on Rumble. That's linked in the description below. But for now, let's take a look at this video of Nadia using Gamebot in Warzone 2. Now, this is only a short clip, guys, but pay attention to her aim. We're going to watch it all the way through, then we'll slow it down and zoom it in. Okay, that's it. That's the clip. Now, you guys are going to be wondering, is that it? Is that all it is? But wait until you see everything that happens in this clip now. There was a clip a while ago of Shifty TV where his aimbot was locked onto an enemy. The enemy flew behind the lamppost and his aim unlocked, then relocked. Now, pay attention to this clip again. In slow motion, I want you guys to see this first hand. Pay attention to the palm tree. Pay attention to how her aim transfers from the enemy on the hill as he dips down out of sight of her. So he's in cover. Her aim transfers to the guy on the left. But when it bypasses the tree, it's almost like the aimbot malfunctions. Watch it. So if you were using Gamebot and you had it so it only locked on to enemies who are visible, then this type of thing can happen. If you have two enemies by you and you are already locked on to one who's further away, then it's not going to transfer over to the other guy until the enemy you're locked on to either goes down or dies, depending on if you have Aimbot set to down player or not. However, in this situation, the enemy she's originally aiming at at the top of the hill dips down. As soon as that enemy dips down, her aim starts to transfer to the next available target, who just so happens to be on the left. But as it's transferring over, her aim goes by that palm tree. But when that happens, it's almost like it breaks her aimbot because you see it malfunction and then it kills the guy on the left. But once that guy is done and downed, her aim transfers perfectly back up to the guy on the hill who is visible again. Do you need to see it again? I'm going to show you it again. And there is a reason I wanted to show you guys it again, because did you notice her reaction after that happened? Let's go back. Let's watch the moment she realized her aimbot messed up. Do -do 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 -do. Just walking through Al Mazra shooting a guy. Oops. Look at the camera now. Yeah, the look of panic on her face as she realized her aim shouldn't be doing that in a Call of Duty game, that that is not natural aim at all. In fact, this girl is so blatant, she may as well have her wall hacks on show. But that's not how you get famous by cheating, is it? She's a prime example of people who are able to cheat, gain success, and slip through the net. Once you hit a certain point, 
there's no way you can be fully exposed. So people ask why we've got loads of videos of Nadia. Well, call them bookmarks, call them timestamps, because at some point her story will come out and she will probably be the one to tell her story and she will admit to everything she's done. Obviously, this will be towards the end of her career, but believe me, when that happens, all these videos are proof of everything she's probably going to say because she's been cheating from the very beginning. She's got a band account and she continues to cheat in this. So I believe that's why she's moving away from Call of Duty and starting to do more in real life content. But who's honestly interested in watching Nadia eat beans on toast or watching Nadia eat a pizza? No one. But then people aren't really interested in watching a cheat in Warzone either. And the only people left watching it on Twitch is the Viewbot service that she pays for. <laughs> so guys, we will continue to document all the shitty aimbot wall hack moments from Nadia. And we will continue to do that until she owns up to what she's done. But for now, if you did enjoy the video, smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads. And if you want to get a little bit more involved with the Triple B fam, you can join our Discord. It's linked in the description below. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. P -p -p Peace!